So this is Dave W W seven U U U back again. So I've done some work in the single transistor section of the circuit board. Um, those resistors may look old, but everything in that section is new. Uh, they're new old stock carbon resistors, which are fine. Let the next generation have them fail and fix them long after I'm gone. <laughs> but I had them on hand and they were brand new, so. What the heck, I checked all their values before I installed them. And this time I installed a transistor socket for Q1. Um, the only transistor, the only Q in the entire rig. Um, that way I could experiment with transistors. And it just turns out luck of the draw that going through the junk box, the first PMP that I found that looked about right, um, threw it in the tester and it shows a, an HFE forward gain of uh, 232 so figured it good enough and I popped it in there and by gosh uh, it makes a big difference so now we're, everything's the same same somewhat chirpy little rock down there normally I run on a VFO um, everything else is the same all the controls are the same volumes the same everything's the same but now Now we have instantaneous QSK with a very nicely monitored CW note happening off of the receiver. As I said, granted with a little bit of chirp going on there just because of that rock, but boy what a difference it makes. So anybody with a hot water 16 with that horrible side dome problem, get down in this little corner right here change out everything everything you see right there the one two three four five resistors and that little green capacitor back there um, and the transistor just change them all out and life will be good and it'll wake up and work really well chances are just changing the transistor will probably make all the difference but I changed everything just because I had the parts and it's fun to do so there you go 73